Welcome back to the Santiago on the Family Channel. Today, in this episode, I will be talking something about this bike, Java Beta, because I received a lot of questions and some DM me, sent me personal messages as well, and asking about where did I get it, how much is the price, and how's the quality. We will be discussing that. If you are among those bikers who are into, you know, those kinds of brands like Trek, Giant or Scott Pivot and the expensive ones, then this is not for you. It's affordable, but it's a good quality, I, I, I must say. Now, so I think this is the best time. I just came from my afternoon ride going to D3, but I think this is the best time to do it, especially that we have the best light. So, maganda yung kuha natin ngayon. So, I, I will try to share some insights and sort of review na rin for this for this mountain bike and let's see kung magugustuhan din niyo. So let's start with the specs. It has carbon fiber frame, a 120mm travel air suspension lockout fork with cable remote control, a 27.5 by 14G by 32H 9mm quick release wheels and a CST MTB 27.5 by 1.95 tires. This can be upgraded to a 29er. For the drivetrain, it has Shimano Altus SL M2010 9-speed shifters as well as front and rear derulio. The chain set is Shimano MT210-3, 22, 30, 40, T by 175 mm. The saddle is a Java Deca as well as the handlebar which is an alloy with 31.8mm, 680mm width, and the stem is a deck as well. The brake set is a Tektro HDM282 hydraulic disc brakes. I got this bike for 2,400 dirhams at time, that was in September 2020 last year. I can see the difference now. The price has increased a bit, especially online. Before we'll go to my feedback or review of this bike, just to clarify, I'll be sharing you my thoughts as a newbie and basically all about my first-hand experiences with this bike. But I hope you will still get something from this especially to those who are planning to get one and by the way this is not a sponsored vlog the main reason why i got this is because i'm inspired by my friends as what i've mentioned in my earlier episode you may check that from the link above and since we were locked down i gained more weight and, and that i needed to sweat out and biking is the best option The good thing with this bike is that it is very light compared to other MTVs I've checked. When on the roads, and especially if there's no strong gust of wind, the rides are always smooth. Another thing is its looks and design. Its internal cable routing is somewhat discreet that leaves the body clean and tidy. To me, with it having a carbon fiber frame, it even enhanced that robust look and feel for a mountain bike.
Java, by the way, if you don't know, yep, it's a Chinese brand which is headquartered in Shenzhen, China. But personally, I they already personally I can say that they already have a reputation because Java brand has been there already in the bike industry. They've been there, especially in the folding bike category. You know, the small folding bikes, which is very popular in Asia. As I've said, they've got city bikes or folding ones, and they have good road bikes as well. And these ones, MTBs. So it's been almost five months now since I've started using this bike, and so far I didn't encounter any issues. Their approach to this bike, particularly with the color, which is somewhat minimalist, is to me a perfect one. It just stood out and captured my attention the first time I saw this from that bike shop in Business Bay, Dubai Bike Shop. You may check that out. Again, it's not a sponsored, okay? <laughs> but I have to be honest, this purchase was kind of a mistake on my part as this is a large sized MTB. If you look at the size chart or size guide, my height is not for this one. I am 5'6". But I think with that, it even turned out to be a good thing. As what I've mentioned, I gained weight because of the lockdown, right? And if I have chosen the smaller size, I think I would look like awkward and crumpled riding this now. Handling it is even better, I think, which I'm sure it would have been different if I took the smaller one. Although I made some little adjustments with the saddle and I'm even planning to replace the stem with a shorter one, but uh, we'll see later on. Overall, Java Veta, which has an Italian touch, Veta meaning summit, is designed by actual Italian designers, so thumbs up for that. Would I recommend this Java Veta Hardtail MTB? I've ridden this mostly on roads, but from time to time some off-roads, but not in those serious off-road trails like in the Rocky Mountains of Shauka or Hatay yet. But I would say Java Veta is a good bike. It has the looks, comfort, and durability, and it is affordable. Which is a great thing, especially for beginners like me, who are not willing to throw money down the drain. So that's it. I hope you like the our quick review. You got something from there. I will leave the links in the description below so that you can check if you want to purchase it online or if you wanted to purchase it personally in uh, Dubai Bike Shop or in Upton or in any other uh, Facebook pages or Facebook groups. For me, it's a good bike because as a beginner, I don't need a, an expensive one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Takang salamat. Bye-bye.